What's up guys, welcome to this new video on the channel. This is my review of the Zazluke HD capture card. I bought this capture card off Amazon. It's one of these cheap sort of Chinese clone of a clone capture cards. It only costs 47 pounds. And I bought it because I'd previously had an Elgato HD 60S, which on my MacBook Air M1 didn't work. It was a nightmare. Just didn't want to record, was just a mess. And I wanted something sort of easy to replace it with. Now, I only bought a capture card to record some Switch gameplay for some projects I've got coming up. So for me, it wasn't worth spending the 180, 200 pounds that you can pay to get some capture cards that either don't need PCs or work on M1 a lot better than others. So I got this capture card in. I'm actually unboxing it in this video. You can see here, I was talking over this, but the audio corrupted. So just enjoy me waving my hands about. It's very simple. It just comes in a very plain box comes with the capture unit itself, a spare HDMI, a USB-A for a desktop or a laptop that doesn't have a USB-C, and then a USB-C cable, for what, which is what I used on the MacBook Air. So, I'm going to bring up the quality I got initially, and as you can see, it's not good. It's not good at all. What I did with this is I literally plugged it in, turned on OBS, OBS recognised it, picked it up as a capture unit, but the quality was awful. It was not good at all. Um, lots of frame rate drops, lots of missed frames, lots of artifacts. Just, it just didn't look good. Um, so I'll throw up a few different clips of it here. And obviously I wasn't too pleased with that. I looked into OBS and I tried to mess around with the settings a bit more, but that didn't really seem to change anything. I then looked at the CPU usage on OBS when I was recording, and I was seeing that it was reaching to the upper 80s in terms of uh, CPU usage while recording with this. So, because M1 is M1, I recognize that OBS is not a native M1 app yet. And I, from what I understand, or from what it appears to me, this was causing more of the problems than the capture card itself. So I looked around and I found an actual patch online. Um, I'll leave it in the description below and I'll just show a little screenshot of it here. And all you need to do is just download the file here drag and drop the file into your OBS and it's literally that's it's that simple the instructions are all on the, the forum post once that was done it worked 10 times better the CPU usage didn't go over 20 percent if I remember correctly and the recordings were a lot smoother they weren't perfect but they were a lot lot smoother so I'll just put up the actual recording quality I've got now so as you can see it's a lot cleaner the visuals aren't dropping frames I wouldn't say it's the most high quality capture out there, but at the end of the day, I've paid £47 for it. It's not going to be the best in the world, but it is going to do a good job. Would I recommend this? I'd say yes. If you know what you're looking for and you know that you're not looking to record amazing high 4K HDR quality footage, this will do the job. And you don't want to spend a crazy amount of money, this is good. This does its job. It's not perfect. You will have to do a bit of tinkering. I still think part of the issue with what I've got is because I'm on M1, um, because I'm on a MacBook Air, which isn't the most powerful thing in the world. I do have plans to test this on a more powerful Windows PC and see if that makes any difference, if the quality is better. And I'll update you guys if that is the case um, and make another video about that. What I am also going to do is I'm going to upload, after this video, I'm going to upload um, a few just again raw uncut cut pieces of footage that i recorded from the capture card from a few different games i've tried to use a variety of games so i think i've used mario odyssey mario kart 8 uh, breath of the wild and smash bros and i'll upload all those and again if you guys want to take a look and see what you think of the recording quality you can do that there if anyone has any tips on what they think i should do in terms of settings to make the recording quality better then feel free to just drop me a comment and i'll respond i do read all the comments so I want to say thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you loved it, hit that subscribe button. I'll keep following up on this if anyone actually wants to hear more. Like I said, drop me a comment. And if you have any specific questions that I can answer, I'll try and do my best to do so. Thank you so, so much for watching. I will catch you in the next video. Face reveal at 10 mil. Still happening. See you in the next one.